As families all across Central Florida continue to assess the damage from Nicole, new concerns are being raised about Florida's struggling property insurance market. Governor Ron DeSantis has vowed to call lawmakers back to Tallahassee before the end of the year to address property insurance, but so far, no date has been announced. New 6 investigator Mike DeForest joins us. Mike, how is Hurricane Nicole expected to impact those property insurance rates? Well, Matt, experts who monitor the property insurance market believe Hurricane Nicole will have a much much, much smaller impact on the industry than Hurricane Ian last month. Still, some state lawmakers believe they need to act quickly to prevent further rate increases. It's been nearly a month since Governor Ron DeSantis announced he was calling lawmakers back to Tallahassee for a second time this year to address the state's property insurance crisis. There were some very positive reforms uh, that were done, uh, but there were also things that we wanted to do that the legislature at that time was not willing to do. I think we will be able to do that in this special session. The governor still has not announced a date for that special session, but some lawmakers believe it could happen in mid-December, when some legislators are already planning to be in Tallahassee for other scheduled meetings. The industry as a whole essentially has stage four terminal cancer right now. State Senator Jeff Brandis, who is about to leave the legislature due to term limits, says his colleagues need to make additional reforms quickly to prevent homeowners from seeing their insurance premiums skyrocket even further. Insurance losses from Hurricane Ian last month now exceed $8.7 billion, according to state officials, who believe that figure will continue to grow. Damage from Hurricane Nicole is still being tallied, and the state has not yet released any official statistics. But CoreLogic, a global property information provider, estimates privately insured gross model losses from Nicole will be less than $750 million. Tonight, the governor's office tells News 6 it is working with legislative leadership to pass additional reforms to stabilize Florida's property insurance market that they believe will introduce more competition and policies that they say will be designed to lower prices for consumers. The governor's office says additional details about that special session will be announced soon. Matt and Lisa. Hmm.